In today's YouTube video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make an automated YouTube channel that creates over 300 videos in just 10 minutes. Before we get into anything, if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as I post daily AI content on how you can use AI to grow your business or your YouTube channel. With that out of the way, let's head over to the PC setup and get started. Alrighty, now that we're on the PC setup, I did want to showcase to you guys just how lucrative these automated YouTube channels could be. So here we just have a random one that I found when I searched up daily facts over 135,000 subscribers and they are posting probably the laziest content ever however it's performing so well just looking at some of their videos 13 million views 11 million views 10 million views pulling in absolutely unreal numbers for content that really is not hard to make at all it's simply just text and then it probably changes in the last second of the video so we're going to replicate a very similar style of video within today's tutorial now going over to their social blade you can see that this account itself is pulling in anywhere from two thousand eight hundred dollars all the way to forty five thousand dollars a year in a youtube channel that probably took a max five hours to create from complete scratch and i mean like literally no logo no anything this is such an easy youtube channel to replicate and that's what we're going to be doing today in literally under 10 minutes. The first thing you need to do when creating your automated YouTube channel is actually doing a little bit of research on the niche that you're going to be doing. So let's say you wanted to do hockey facts, then you would be honing in on a hockey niche, but you can also make them very general so that they apply to more people and have a better chance of higher viewership. Now, the way I like to get my ideas is all through chat GPT. So I'll do a prompt, something like give me 30 examples of short form YouTube channels channels that you can start which only require text and then i'll give it an example the example i fed it is a guy facts youtube channel the first nine seconds being one percent of guys only have and then the anticipation leads up and then the last second is red hair and now chat gpt is giving me a whole bunch of examples based off that type of video i'm looking for and there's already some really great results i mean if you guys are watching this video even you guys can steal some of the examples on screen right now the today in history channel I think is really good just brief historical facts about the current day which would be really easy to generate travel facts about different countries I really like that and I think that's what we're going to be running with in today's video I already kind of had that idea in mind but I really like something about top five countries so I think that's the idea we're going to run with in today's tutorial but yeah there's so many really good ideas in this prompt alone joke of the day you could literally do a million of those in just a couple minutes Alrighty, so now that we have our niche, which is going to be like that top five country, next thing you want to do is do some like consumer research. So you want to actually look if there's any other channels doing it already and if it's going to be a hard market to hone in on. So I'm just going to search up top five country. As you can see, this video right here has 1.3 million views. However, it comes from a pretty small YouTube channel. So this shows that there is definitely a target market for the video that I'm creating. However, there's not not many channels, if any channels really doing it right now. So yeah, as you guys can see, there's really no top five country channel that has a significant following. So we're definitely good to go with this niche idea. Now, the next thing I'm going to ask ChatGPT is to create me a list of 50 different video ideas that I can use for this YouTube channel. So I just asked ChatGPT to create me a list of 50 different ideas for YouTube channel based on the top five countries, for example. And then I listen an example, top five largest countries by population and here we got the channel name and then it gives a description in the chart however I kind of want to change this up I want it to actually give me the answers however I will state that ChatGPT is not going to give you the most up-to-date answers so if you need up-to-date answers for your YouTube videos I highly suggest using Google Bard as Google Bard utilizes the internet and will have more up-to-date information than ChatGPT is going to have so I changed this up a bit I said to put it in a chart format with the correct answers and give each country a rank to a specific column and then number that country as well so let's see what it's able to do already perfect now we have our information here all in a chart and the next thing you can do is actually just copy it and paste it into an excel sheet so that's what i've done right here i just literally copied the entire chart and went and pasted it into this excel sheet or you can use google spreadsheets that's what i'm actually using in today's video so like i was saying i like to use google bard to verify that all my answers are correct so all top 
type in the chart that I copied from my Google spreadsheet. And then I'll ask, can you verify that the answers in this chart are up to date as of May 2023? And then from here, Google Bard is able to utilize the internet to verify that all of our answers are actually correct. Now, as you guys can see, the answers are up to date as of May 2023, which is fantastic. Now, funny enough, I already know that the highest population actually changed just this month, and I believe India is above China now. So that's the only statistic that may be incorrect in this entire chart, but all the other information should be good to go. Alrighty, the next thing you want to do is actually head over to the website called Canva. Now, Canva is completely free to use, and it's really easy to use, and this is how we're actually going to get automating our videos. So you just want to go to create design, and then you want to go to video. Now, once you're on video, you just want to go to apps over here and you want to search up all create and hit enter. Now you'll probably see a icon that looks like so. All you want to do is just add it and it will add the app to your timeline. Now that you have bulk create, you'll be able to try it out for 30 days completely for free. So we're going to start our trial. Now it's really not that expensive. And what you can do is use the 30 days to start up your shorts channel. And if you start to see success, obviously you can continue to pay the subscription because it's going to be worth it considering how much money you'll be able to pull in. So I'm just going to go with the monthly option. I'm going to put in my PayPal. Alrighty, once I put in the PayPal, you can just select the create videos option, go next and bam. Now you should have the option to bulk create. So you're going to see this upload CSV option right here. This is what you're going to want to do. So you want to go back to your spreadsheet. You can go to file and then select download and then CSV. This will save it as a CSV file which can then be uploaded into Canva. So we're going to hit upload CSV right here. And then I'm going to open up that CSV file. Now, as you can see, we have six data fields. This is based upon the columns within your Excel or spreadsheet file. So as you can see, we have all the different country columns and then we have the question. The next thing you want to do is actually resize it so that it's in a format that's native to YouTube Shorts. So you can go to the resize button at the top here and you just want to flip it so the height should be 1920 and the width should be 1080. We're going to select resize. And as you guys can see, we now have a vertical format perfect for YouTube shorts. Now, I didn't realize this, but when you resize, you actually have to re-upload your CSV file. So we're going to do that again. And now we're going to start adding. So for the elements, I'm going to use a background. So I'm just going to find random videos. You can go to videos and there is so many free to use videos within Canva. So I just found this video of the earth spinning. Now, next thing I'm going to do is actually change the length of this video as I only want my YouTube short to be around 10 seconds, which is the perfect length for YouTube shorts in my opinion. So now we edit it so that it's 10 seconds. The next thing we're going to do is add some text to this video. So once we add our text, I just added this heading and right click the text and then go to connect data. And then from here, this is where you're going to connect the data. So the top of the screen, I want the question. So I'm going to connect the question right here. Now I'm going to add a subheading and this is going to be the list. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to connect data and then I'm going to connect country five because this is going to be the first one that shows up in our video. I'm going to copy and paste this country five that we now have five different countries and then I'm going to assign corresponding countries to them. Alrighty, now I'm going to add a background to each of these text boxes so that they stand out a bit more. However, I'd recommend you guys really try and make them as fancy as possible just so it looks a lot more visually appealing. Now, another thing I really like to add is some type of watermark on the video just so people can't just like steal your videos and re-upload them. So as our YouTube channel is going to be called Top 5 Country, I'm just going to create a watermark at the bottom of the video called Top 5 country. I'm going to turn the transparency on it down so it's not too distracting. Now the next thing we need to do is actually create the timing for these text boxes as I really want the last text box to come in at the final second. That way people are going to watch the entire video. It's going to increase retention on your YouTube short which will garner you way more views the longer people watch your video. So in order to do this you want to select the show pages button right here and this will bring up your video time 
timeline. Now, in order to do this, all you have to do is right click the text and then go to show timing. You can also do this in bulk. So you can select multiple and do show timing. So I'm going to do the fifth option to come in at like one second. I'm going to drag it down so that the first answer spawns in at about one second. So as you can see, country five comes in at around one second. Now I'm going to do the same thing for country four. And if you guys actually aren't getting the show or hide timing buttons, you just want to make sure you're on a mobile mobile video. So you can do this by going to Canva, the homepage, typing in mobile video, searching for it, and then selecting create a blank mobile video. And then from this template right here, when you right click on text, you should get that show timing option. I know I was having an issue with that earlier already. So for country four, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have it come in at around 2.5 seconds. Now for country three, I'm going to have that come in at around 5.9 seconds to six seconds. Country number two, I'm going to have that come in around a little bit before eight seconds. And then country number one, we're going to have at the final second. Already perfect. So now if we play this video, we have country number five, country four comes in, country number three comes in, country number two, and then country number one. I might make number three come in a bit sooner just so that delay isn't as awkward already. And just ensuring that all your data is connected. And once it is, you can can actually generate your video. So we're going to hit continue. We have 18 different questions. I ended up taking out a few of the questions in the Excel file for a reason. I'll show you in just a couple seconds, but we're going to generate these pages. It's going to open up a new tab. And as you guys can see, we have 18 different YouTube shorts that we can now post on our YouTube channel. However, there is something I want to go over. So as you guys can see in this example right here, number one and number two overlap with the text at the top. So this is something you have to be aware of. You can easily change this by exiting out of the new tab that was created and making your text or your question text a lot smaller. Additionally, we can do the same thing for the countries. We can make them smaller and we can add more of a divide between each country. Alrighty, so I made the spacing a lot better as well as made the question a lot smaller. So let's regenerate these videos. And as you guys can see, this is much, much better. However, I definitely didn't want this animation at the end, so I'll have to change that. But you guys are getting the idea. Now, something to note is that the unfortunate part with these videos is that the background is always going to be the same. However, what you can do is simply go back and then upload a new CSV file with, let's say, 20 new questions. And then you can just change the background very easily by going to those elements and finding whatever video you want to use. So let's say this ice video, and then you can just render it out for the new 20 questions that you want to use and just keep repeating that process. It will literally take you like 10 minutes, not even. But yeah, guys, it's really that easy. All you have to do now is simply download all the videos and then upload them to your YouTube channel. You can do this by going to share and then download. And then you want to select the download pages as separate files option. Make sure that's on. And then quality, you just want to make sure it's on 1080. ADP and then select download. And this is going to download all of your videos in bulk. It may take a couple of minutes depending on how good of a Wi Fi connection that you have. Now, one of the last things you can do is actually create a logo for your channel. I did this with Mid Journey. I'm not going to go over that in today's video, but if you want to learn how I create logos, definitely subscribe to the channel. Here's the channel that I've created for this video, and I'm going to be posting those shorts that I've created in today's tutorial to see how well they done. So I'll have that link down below. If you're just curious on how the channel is performing, keep in mind, I just made this channel today. So it's absolutely brand new. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're actually curious on how to automate the uploading part, because that's probably going to be the most time consuming part of this video is just going to create, upload, upload video, and then uploading each individual short. I'll actually have a video coming out very soon on how to automate the upload. So it's literally going to take you less than 10 minutes to upload 300 plus shorts at a time. So make sure you subscribe for that. Leave a like on the video if this video helped you out and have yourselves a fantastic day. See ya later.